the 12 days of Christmas. These are branches I just went and got outside. Actually, it was one big tree branch from a birch tree. And I've kind of, you can see, sequentially got smaller and smaller with four branches. This, believe it or not, is going to become a Christmas tree. Stay with me and I'll show you what you branches. You're going to need some little ornaments. This package has 16 in it. Two strings of lights. I got these ones. I love the look of them. And some ornament hooks. And a little bit of gift wrap. Because and that's going to be the stem and it's going to be wrapped either in burlap or Christmas tree wrap. I haven't decided yet. And we'll have to figure out something for our up here, our star. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do now, I, this is all in my head, you guys. I, I seriously, it's all in my head and my head has been cluttered with gold lemme and silver lemme. So Lord knows. What we're going to try to do is, I'm still thinking, I think I'm going to try to do this with wire first so I have some base and then I will wrap the lights around the wire. So you're going to need so Can you wire. see how I just took this copper wire I had, I wrapped it around that end and the other, I felt folded the whole piece in half. So there's the ends of it right there. So that's where I pinched it in half, wrapped that one around that one, that one around there. And then I hung the ornament because I just wanted to see how much space I needed between. And so I put the second one and I'm going to go ahead and put the third one and then the fourth one. I think this is going to be way easier than I thought. <laughs> this is what I've come up with so far. Can you see? I wish I'd had more wire so I could take it right to the ends of the tree, but that's all I could do. So now we're going to try to wrap the wire, the lights. Now that we have a little bit more sturdier piece of structure, this wacky um, Christmas tree, we're going to start to make sure that our lights are at the bottom and make sure that they work. I just put pat, uh, batteries in it. Yes. And now we're going to try and light our tree. So uh, let's see how this goes. Then I'm going to try and go this way, horizontally with the lights. More than enough lights. I know it's really hard to see what I'm doing here because I'm doing it on top of so many things, but I started, this one will be the only one at the bottom as a stem. Then I wrapped it around a few times and then just went that way, then that way. For those, that's one strand. It ends right here. And then this strand I started from the top, which is where my star will be. And I am just went that way, wrapped it around and that way. But I'm just tidying it up a little bit. And I'm going to adhere these little tiny rows of um, lights with just a tiny piece of, of either this wire or this silver wire, just something to tighten them onto the branch. This is a really rustic Christmas tree, I tell you. So I have my lights all strung on and wired on and they look way better. And so what I'm doing now is, you know, this is our little bundle of uh, batteries. I'm just wrapping it up because you know how sometimes when you buy the tree, they put them in these little burlapy bags to keep, I think. I haven't bought a real tree in so long, but it seems to me I remember. So I'm going to tie that up and I make sure there's access to the light switch. And I'm going to use that really cool twine that I used the other day. So I changed my mind. I decided to go with burlap instead. I tied it with some wire, and I'm just going to use this red twine to go around it. And now I'm going to put the ornaments on. So I think I'll do five, four, three, and two. So hopefully they'll fit around the branches. This is the biggest, thickest branch right here. 
So yeah, we'll try and get them to fit. Our tree needs a star. So in keeping with the rustic, rugged, raggedy tree, I'm going to make a corrugated cardboard star. I'll get this piece of cardboard from a box and I want this part, you know, the part that kind of looks all... Oh, so I'm literally just ripping the paper part off of it so I can get down to that part. Okay, you guys, that last piece of cardboard was too uh, small. So I'm back tearing it away. And then I thought, Eureka, here's a hot gun to loosen the glue. And uh, the paper from the corrugated part. Great trick. Okay, one last tip I'm going to tell you. When you put your ornaments on, or your ornament holder onto the ornament, make sure you pinch it like that so it won't fall off. So we're just going to hang these last two here, and then it will be the element of surprise. That's all you can see, sneak peek. Whoops. I need another ornament. Okay, I want to turn the light off just for the suspense. So we have nothing right outside this bathroom here. So I have to turn the switch on. Okay, so here we go. Isn't that cute? I mean, come on. How cute is our little raggedy COVID tree? I love it. And it's got the burlap bag and the ornaments and the wire in our star and I glued the battery packet. I think you can see, let me turn the light on, in the back here. Oh, there you can see it. It's right on to this corrugated cardboard star. I really, truly love how this turned out. It's absolutely adorable. And it's literally made from sticks in the yard. The only thing I bought were the lights for $1.25 each string and the ornaments whole package was $1.25. And the ornament um, holders, because I didn't have any, $1.25. Everything else I had. How cute is this? I love it. I hope you guys give this a try and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.